You're here today because you believe that he's, he's still messing with the same thing. You believe though. he's not faithful to you? Yes. And then, like, when I went on his phone while he was in the shower, he was texting his girl, and I pulled up at her house with my family member. Because I asked her, you was in my face when we was at his job, and you was talking about, oh, you're cute, you're pretty, and then you were texting him, talking about meet me at my address. So what I did, I got in my car, and me and my family member, we drove to her house, and I confronted her. And what happened? She didn't come outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Probably God. Probably a good move. Um, <laughs> you want to work things out with Alan? I don't even know. He's not worth it. Um, but if he were to pass his lie detector test, would that give you some kind of comfort or yeah. some reason to move forward with it him? It would. But if he were to fail? Pack your stuff and leave. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and he somehow, which I don't believe and I don't think he believes it either, that you might cheat on him. He gets mad because boys text me. I'm pretty. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm pretty. I'm not an ugly female. He gets mad, he'll break up with me, and then somebody will take, a boy will text me, be like, hey, gorgeous, hey, beautiful. And he'll be mad. What are you mad for? Right. And then he'll be mad. He'll be like, you better not have no other boy in this house. I'm not playing with you. Da -da 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 -da. He's like the jealous type. So, but you keep breaking up with me, and you disappear, and then you don't text me back, you don't answer my phone calls, but then you get mad at me when somebody inboxes me. Right. So. When you do it, it's, oh, I'm a dude. So what does that have to do with we're, anything? We're going to get to these results right now, but I, I, this is what I want to ask you. Uh, and, and, and for me, it was a long time ago, but when I turned 18, uh, I was in the Marines, and I was traveling all over the place, and I just had this ultimate freedom where I didn't have to, it was the first time I didn't have to answer to my parents, or I didn't have to answer to anybody. I, didn't ha I wasn't tied down to anybody. And that freedom was intoxicating. Don't you want the same thing? Or cause I'm not saying it's for everybody, but for me, it was like the most wonderful feeling in the world. Kamari mm -hmm. uh, came here and took a lot of took the test, and we asked her, have you ever had any sexual physical contact with any other males besides Alan? She answered no. Have you had sexual intercourse with any other males besides Alan? She answered no. What do you think? She told the truth. She did tell the truth. I told you. You keep coming at me, I told you. What did I tell you? Yeah, what did I tell you? Yeah. Exactly. Now let's hear yours. So we want to hear it. I'm already going to walk back. I already let's told you I'm going to fail. I already failed. You failed? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, let's, let's ask the audience, who thinks Alan's going to pass his lie detector test? <laughs> <laughs> you, you think he's going to pass? Yeah. You're I don't know. No, I don't even know, man. Is that, is, is that your sister? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alan, we asked you, since Kamari moved back in, mm -hmm. have you had sexual contact with any other females besides Kamari? You answered no. Since Kamari moved back in, have you had sexual intercourse with any other females besides Kamari? You answered no. Have you ever broken up with Kamari for the purpose of having sexual activity with another female? You answered no. And the results came back all the same, and they came back that what do you think? I told the truth. You did not tell the truth. <laughs> move, move. Nah. Where are you going? Nah, where are you going? No. I'm nah, not. you, you, no, no. nah, dog, you told me that you ain't gonna do no, that. You are I, such a liar. Nah, come here. Where are you going? I'm out. Where are you going? I'm Why out. are you gonna lie? No. What I, was the point of you lying? I told you. You didn't tell me. Man. You freaking no. hoe. I, I told you. you. No, I you did you. not tell me. I told you. You did not tell me. No. You lied I, too much. I told you. You lied. Okay, listen. You lied. You told me we're since gonna, November. We, listen, we just in this relationship. I, 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 I don't care. You're a hoe. Yeah. Simple. And you're full of it. Thank you.
He's he's coming back too. Oh, well, back out there. He's not even worth it. He's not even a key. Okay. So listen. What do you want to say to her? I'm gonna say this. What I did, I told you. You told me one time, shut up. Listen. Shut up. No, I'm not gonna shut up. You're gonna have to listen to this. Let, 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 I already let him, told let him, you. Let him talk to her. What about that? Whatever it is, since we got together and all that, and we was together, and when we got all that, you know, I'm not gonna mention that on the stage. You already know why I felt that, because you already knew why. There was a I moved back in in March. That was my yeah. birthday month. So what'd you do? What I do? Nothing. What'd you do? First of all. Obviously you did. You they ain't lying on you. The other part, listen. Oh, I'm gonna say this right now. Oh, we only <laughs> listen. I love you to death. Obviously not. Listen, I do. I'm not gonna say here and say I'm not, I don't. Yeah. I, I, mm -hmm. Listen, I'm not gonna say here that How I don't. How many females have you told that to? I, what, boy, in person right now, you in my face. Mm, you tell her you wanted yeah. to marry her just what as well think? as me. But listen. You tell her the same thing when you asked her to marry you too. Yeah, I did. But what I'm saying is, I can't, I'm not gonna say that I don't love you, that I'm, I mean, regardless of how we gonna work this out or we're not gonna work this out or whatever it is. Do you wanna work it out? Huh. I don't even know. I mean, I take that. You don't but, have to. But here, here's what I would say to you. I don't think you're ready to be with just one girl. And, and truthfully, at 26, if you're not ready, you're not ready. You're in a little different boat because you got a bunch of kids to take care of. Mm -hmm. She has nobody but herself to take care of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's, why would you do this to this young girl who obviously has deep feelings for you, who you have hurt, if you can't be faithful, which at 26 and you're a DJ and a player and all that stuff, there's nothing wrong with that. But to keep stringing her along, saying, right. hey, I'm only going to be with you, I'm only going to be with you, when you really have no intention of doing that, that's not fair. And you should, you should let her go. Yeah, and that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Oh, you're doing it. Yeah, I did yeah. that. I said that. Because I, I, I got I, a question for you. No, I'm doing I got that a question because for you. I, Would you like somebody to treat your dog no, the way you treat no, me? Then no. why you do it? Why? I can't, I don't have an answer to why I do it. I just do it. So you're telling her right of now. Oh, somebody treats your daughter the way you it's treat what, other females. Listen, how would you feel? Of how I got treated by these females. Are you no letting her go? Okay, yes. that has nothing to do Simple. with me. Tell her you're letting her go. I'm, I'm let, you want to go ha be happy? I'm letting you be happy. It's simple. I can't, I'm not going to bring my mess to you. I can't do it. There's other people you out there to be happy. You I can't did. do it. So it's, o it's over. <laughs> I love her, man. I can't say that. You know what? I, I think you're confusing love with sex. Yeah. No. It ain't about the sex. No. It ain't about the sex. It, it, it ain't about the sex. Uh, let, me say, say let me say this. If you both just want to have a casual sexual relationship, that's your business. Yeah. <laughs> I was always about the sex. No, I'm saying. He's you right. If we just want to have... A casual sexual relationship, the, then that's what we can do. Right. right. Then, but don't be playing me like gonna, it's all cool, because it's not. You're right. You're right. Because you wouldn't like nobody doing your daughter like that, so why would you do somebody else's daughter like that? So it? if you know the understanding of the ground rules, but knowing that if it's going to be casual, she can see whoever she wants to see, too. Yeah. Right. It's simple. But you're not going to like it. You're right. You're damn right. That's why I'll be on my own. All right, so what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> Right now we're in a neutral. I'm in a neutral because I don't even know. I don't even know because you want. See, I, I want to be with her. You want to be with her, what but I you want to be with other people. Yeah. But you, you, you don't want anybody to be with her. Probably, yeah. I'll probably. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right on that. Yeah. I say that. I do have that type no, of thing, but I can't. That's exactly what he wants. I know that's not what you want. So what are you going to do? Because ultimately, it falls on your shoulders. What are you going to do? I don't even know. I don't. You're still going to keep sleeping with them. Probably. Uh, right. I ain't really at that problem. Right, I know. But, but my thing is, then I would keep all your options open, and I would see whoever I want. Good luck to you. It's nice to you. I ain't got you, my daughter. That's the truth. Get the hell off my stage.